I think uh, Mr. Maxwell deserves to be Teacher of the Year because he has a way with students. He forms those relationships with those students, especially those ones that need a little extra tender loving care. He makes, you see him talking with students in the hallway. He's just, he, he's just real. He um, talks to them like a father would talk to their child. Those kids that need a little bit extra encouragement teaches them real life skills. Um, just the, the relationships that he builds with kids is just uh, the, his strength. Mr. Maxwell is very deserving of being a teacher of the year. He goes above and beyond of what we're required to do. He does more than just teach. He teaches math and science and he does so much more than that. He's an excellent role model for the students and I really feel like he's helping them become adults and realize how they can be successful in the world to be a better person, not just to make good grades in class. So I feel like that's his biggest strength. I believe that Randy Maxwell deserves to be Teacher of the Year because he is absolutely amazing with all of the students here at our school. And he just goes above and beyond to make everybody feel accepted, included, and just worthy all together. Like he just does, goes the extra mile for everyone. Well, no, he, he's, he's a nice person. He, he's, a, he's really a, a funny guy. He, he messes with he messes with people like like when he makes people laugh. He he he's a he's a responsible teacher and and he and he's really smart and, and he's really good good at, at telling people to, to like be quiet when they're a little loud. He is a very um, respectable and kind teacher. He is fair and he does his job the best he can. Yes, he is very humble, and so when he found out that he got this award, he was like, oh my gosh, he's so deserving, but he was like, I didn't, which I think I mentioned that at practice one day, he didn't, he didn't feel like he should get it, but he should. Okay. Oh, he is. He is. I mean, I've, I've teamed with other teachers here, but working with him, it's, it's just, he's like perfect, like complimentary, like we work so well together. He's we're true teammates. Like I can depend on him. I know that if I need something to be done, it gets done. If I need something to be done, he's like probably already done it, that kind of thing. So he is great to work with. I would not choose another teammate. If I had a choice, I would always choose him. Randy, I am I am proud to call you our Teacher of the Year. You have done so much for a lot of students. I love seeing you talking in the hallways with the students and, and forming those friendships and those bonds with those students that need that extra little TLC. I'm, I'm proud that you were recognized by your peers uh, as our Teacher of the Year. I've enjoyed working with you and I hope to continue working with you for many more years and to continue to make those relationships and those connections with our students. Randy, despite what you think, you are very deserving of this award. We love you and everybody has been so much more fortunate to having to work with you. Randy, I have just so enjoyed working with you over the years and you just so deserve to be Teacher of the Year. I'm just so proud to see you honored and just want you to know how much we appreciate you, how much we appreciate all you've done for the kids and you just so deserve this award and we are just so excited and I know you don't enjoy these things but you deserve it bud, proud of you. Mr. Maxwell, thanks for being a, a great math teacher. You, you, are really, you are really a fun guy to be, be with and you're, you're like, you're, and when you, play, when, you, when, when you played that five trick on me, you really, you really got me. I, I, I got really, I got, I went really nuts, nuts. Thank you Mr. Maxwell for doing well all you can, always being respectable, always having high standards, and always, well, being the fun teacher that I mean, that you are uh, known how to be. When I first got into fifth grade, I did not, I was really nervous, I really was. And then I talked to a couple parents and they said that you were like the most fun teacher there, you were a really good respectable teacher, and then when I met you, I saw that all bring color out. Thank you for that. You know, as one of our teachers said, everyone needs a Maxwell. And thank goodness at HIS, we have a Maxwell. There's not much that I don't tell Mr. Maxwell. We've been working together 
for six years. We've teamed together, and he's, of course, have been here um, longer than that. But I've been teaching longer than him, even though he's much older than me, which I remind him on a regular basis. Um, but I'd like to tell him that he is amazing and wonderful and very deser deserving and that we love him here and we're so, gl so glad that he decided to continue to work here and be a part of our school. I don't even know what I said. Okay, Randy, I think you are very deserving of this award more than anybody else, even though I didn't vote for you. Personally, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't vote for him, but I'm not gonna say that. Hold on, I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> Those kids wanna stop by his room. Yes. They stop by the door and say, mm -hmm. Mr. Maxwell, yeah. and he stops and takes mm -hmm. time to speak to them and include them on things. And, and they aren't, they might not be students who come in his room, but they all know him. I think he just models patience. He models understanding. He gives them the tools that they need to handle it on, on their own. He becomes their ally. He lets them work through things without giving it to them. He gives them the tools to, to fight through the problem. And then there they get the confidence that they can handle it. Time, one time he, he bet that he can make me say five and, and I said, no, he can't. And he said, was two plus two, and he, I said four, and then he said, he said, I told you, he said that he told me that I can make, that he can make me say four, and then, and I said, I said, no, you made me say, say the number, say the number that, I start, I starts with the letter five, and then, then, then he, then he, then I, I was like, and I paused for a second, and then I, uh, no, I was like, um, last year, Randy was gone in January all the way through May. He had had open heart surgery, and I knew that I loved working with him, but when he left in January and I was had to work with everything on my own and I didn't have him to depend on and count on, I did not realize what an asset he was to our partnership and our school and how much I needed him to be here. And so I'm so grateful that he came back this year. And this year has been so much better because he is here and we're together again and we're a team and we can work together. They asked me to make a video and y'all know I'm not a huge fan of that, but I do miss everybody. And I hope everybody is doing well and taking care of themselves. Hopefully I'll see you soon.